I can solve real-life addition and subtraction problems by using strategies and building models. In this video, I'm going to talk about put-together, take-apart problems. When you have a put-together, take-apart problem, you're either going to have an unknown part or an unknown whole or total. In this video, I'm going to solve and think aloud an unknown part problem. Please listen and follow along. Jason put seven large plates and some small plates on the table. Together, there are 16 plates. How many plates are small? As I think about this problem, I'm going to visualize what happens in my mind. I'm picturing seven large plates and a number of small plates on a table for a total of 16. Now I'm going to ask myself, what information do, am I given? Well, I'm given seven large plates, which is a part, some small plates, because if I put those together, I'm going to get all together 16 plates. This sum is telling me I don't know the other part. I don't know how many small plates there are, and the question is asking me how many, small, how many plates are small. Now that I have that information, I can build a model that makes sense in my mind. For me, I like to build a math mountain. Here is my math mountain. I have 16 large pl or 16 plates in all. That's my total. That's what the problem gave me. It also gave me seven large plates. I'm looking for the other part. I'm looking for how many small plates. So I'm going to write my equation just as it appears here in my situation. There are seven large plates plus some. There's my line for some. Some small plates, which equals 16 plates altogether. Another way to solve this would be to take the 16 plates in all, subtract the 7 plates, that's a part, a whole minus a part will always give you the other part. So if I take the total, subtract the large plates, I will end up with the number of small plates. I know my math facts and I know that 7 plus 9 is 16. So 16 minus 7 is also 9. There are 9 small plates. 